this should be your 11th scripting tutorial, I believe. And in this one, I'm going to work <coughs> with the GUI again. And um, we're going to work on how to change frames. And yeah, this might be a lengthy tutorial. If it gets to be too long, I'll break you up into two different tutorials. Um, like part one, part two. So enough chatting I'm just gonna get started let's go back here let's copy this and we're going to make both bricks do the same thing again okay so function show GUI player uh, and there I don't need there okay I remember how this works okay so now we can just do this ah shoot no. let me show you again I'm trying to not move my mouse as much as I used to because I realized how annoying that might be so um Show GUI, our parameter. You can kind of just copy this whole script up until there so that we don't have to change the connection. Okay, so there, we're done with this script for today, or at least I hope so. Now it should be mostly just our GUI. Okay then, anyway, visible, so we have the ATG logo, right, alright, so logo frame, it's going to be first, but let's make a new frame, we're going to call this just simple, second frame, ah, uh, I don't want a three in there. We don't speak leet. All right. So as you can see, uh, I'm just gonna make the second frame have a size of <coughs> one offset, zero pixels, and uh, another one of one offset, zero pixels. And I know I explained all this earlier, so I'm not going to explain it again. Now I'm going to hide this logo frame temporarily so we can work on the second frame. And all the second frame is going to have is a very simple don't need to open that object text button. All it's going to have is a very simple script which you will all love, I hope. So now this can be point four by point four there change its background to be a really deep black its text color to be a very standout white and we're going to use the text scaled because I love that thing now and it's going to read go back and it looks like this, okay? And we aren't going to change anything else about it because we don't have to. Now, inside this text button, insert object script, but we aren't going to change this script yet. We're going to go down and we're going to change these scripts. Okay, so I'm going to try to not move my mouse at all during this part. Okay. Script dot parent dot parent because remember we're going the but it's inside the button which is inside the logo frame and that's inside another frame and inside that frame are both of the other frames and I'll show you the hierarchy in a minute but I'm, like I said trying not to move my mouse so script dot parent dot parent 
dot parent yeah that'd be right dot second frame dot visible equals true copy this and we can paste it and then we can change this to false and we can and we're gonna do this the difficult way for button one we're gonna call it load oh wait we can't do that I forgot you can't just go back and find your parent again my bad so script up parent to parent there that's all we need copy the script okay I have to move my mouse this time so I'll show you the hierarchy right now button one parent 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 second frame okay there done take caps lock off now we're going to go into this script and can you guess what we're going to do hmm? well it has the same hierarchy other than change second for logo in the name this is actually going a lot faster than I thought it would I thought this was going to be like a half hour tutorial yes I was wrong visible visible now you are invisible because we're still going to use our bricks because I like using them now we're going to copy it now we're going to delete that Okay. actually we aren't done with the script just yet I have to copy the whole thing Okay. Sorry, I'm moving my mouse. Uh, paste. Disable and then enable. And then. Wait, we can still just. Reset ourselves. Reset. Oh, yeah. Don't you love the reset? Okay, now it's a di bit different. So if we step on this. Nope, we already know what that one does. If we step on this one, <gasps> the GUI shows up. And now if we click that, and it's an endless loop. Which is kind of annoying. But even if we step on this, it doesn't change. Because all this, these scripts do is make this master frame visible. And it's already visible. So probably best I don't continually click that as fast as I have been. Because that might be hurting someone's like eyes. I apologize, just, yeah, whatever. So, uh, wow. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I'll be making another soon on something awesome. Bye.